Good morning. A very happy Easter to you. Uh, actually, in the church, we have a different greeting that we give on Easter day, which, it, well, in the Easter season, if I say, Alleluia, Christ is risen, you respond, He is risen indeed, Alleluia. So can we try that? Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Let's begin with our first hymn. Um, number 689. Thine be the glory. Do sit down. <coughs> Let me again say welcome. It's lovely to see you this morning, and it's lovely uh, that we can have people join us from home or wherever they are. Um, so, welcome to you as well. Notices we're here every week at 11 o'clock in the morning and 6 30 in the evening, unless it's a fifth Sunday and it gets a little bit complicated. And there is a fifth Sunday in April, and I think there's no service here on the 30th of April. 
I think that's right. Am I wrong? Am I? Somebody correct me. Uh, hmm? It's a tin skip. Yeah. Uh, the, the the on the on the last Sunday, on the fifth Sunday, when there is a fifth Sunday in the month, <laughs> we have a, a joint service with our sister church, uh, St Peter's in Skip, and uh, this April the thirtieth. We will be at St. Peter's Inskip at 9.30 a.m., so early start. Um, lovely. Other than that, um, I don't have any other notices except to say there won't be a prayer meeting this week, midweek, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, our service this morning is a service of Holy Communion, and those who love the Lord are welcome to you his table. We're following the service in the red books and uh, we're on page one which uh, confusingly is uh, not right at the beginning. <coughs> in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. We can't say that often enough, can we? Let's uh, say the prayer of preparation together at the top of page two. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. <coughs> Just a, a moment's silence as we prepare to confess our sins to God. And at the top of page three, we pray together. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand and say together the, uh, are we saying or singing? Singing. We're singing the Gloria. Wonderful.
Please do sit down. Let me say the collect's special prayer for today, Easter day. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grants that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. Could we please have our epistle reading? This reading is taken from Acts, um, chapter 10, starting at verse 34, and you can find it on page 1104 in the Pew Bibles. <clears throat> then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, telling the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen. By us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm now going to ask the choir to... Uh, Sing to us the Easter anthem this year.
Beautiful, thank you. Could we now uh, please stand for our gospel reading? And it looks like I'm on the road to, to read the gospel. <laughs> Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 28, beginning to read at verse 1. Page 1000 on the, in the uh, Bibles in the pews. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him, they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please do sit down. <coughs> It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> when do we sing that song? We sing it at Christmas, don't we? Um, well, if we sing it at all. The, but to me, I think Easter is the most wonderful time of the year. You see, Christmas is, uh, there's, there's uh, lots of hassle, there's lots of, worrying about have we got this have we got that have we there's dashing around everywhere there's there's all sorts going on and in the church it's very busy as well and it's it is wonderful but sometimes it gets eaten up by all the other things but to me easter is the most wonderful time of the year so why on earth was it that this week when I was thinking, what shall I preach about? What new can I say? What can I, what, what can I tell people that's different, that's, that's fresh about Easter? I kind of think, oh, 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 what am I going to say? <laughs> so I'm not going to sit down. <laughs> I am going to speak. <laughs> but... But <clears throat> there's sometimes there can be, with the familiarity, they say familiarity breeds contempt. We have the same story every year, the story of the resurrection. But does it come to us afresh, year by year? Or does it, do we get dull? Because we know, we almost know the 
the, the, the reading off by heart. But this morning, um, I was up early. This morning, I was up in time to see the sunrise, and I went, um, I, I went out, and I went down to uh, just, just um, below where I live, where there's a wonderful view out towards Longridge and uh, the Bleasdale and the hills around there. And, and that's the east, and that's where the sun rises. And did anybody see the sunrise this morning? The sunrise this morning was beautiful. It was wonderful. I, I went out slightly grumpy. <laughs> I'm not a morning person. <laughs> but just to stand quietly, birds singing around me. A bit of a chill in the air, but the promise of a bright day. And then to see the sun as, it, as, as the first crack of sunlight came above, well, there was a little bit of cloud just above the horizon. And it came up from that, and I saw the, the sun rise, and I just stood there. I took a few photos, um, which are on my phone, but they don't really do it justice. You can see them afterwards if you want. But, but it was just, just, just wonderful and every day miracle so beautiful and all i could do was stand and wonder and smile and we have that the sun comes up every day <laughs> easter comes around every year but every year the news is so wonderful, so fresh, so like the sun rising in the sky. And that's a wonderful image. We speak of the risen sun, Jesus, the son of God. And this Easter, let me invite you to stand and stare like I did this morning, not quite open mouth, but could have been, just to take some time to realize that it's true, that Jesus rose from the dead. Uh, the story, as it's told in the New Testament, it's not the way you would write it. If you, were, uh, if you were writing a film or something like that, you'd have a very grand entrance. The triumphant return of, of the Son of Man, the Son of God, who has defeated death and comes like a conquering hero. Well, no, it didn't happen like that. And really, when he appeared... Jesus chose two women. Mary Magdalene, Matthew tells us, and the other Mary. The other Mary, um, Matthew tells us in the previous chapter, is the, Ma is the mother of Joseph and uh, somebody else whose name I can't remember. But that meant that she was actually the mother of Jesus. He appeared to his mum when he came back from the dead. And Mary, who, from whom he cast out seven demons. And these, in worldly eyes, were the wrong people. Because, I'm sorry to say, at that time and in that culture, women were not listened to. Women could not give evidence in a court of law unless their evidence was corroborated by a man. Because we've learned the lesson over time <laughs> that women are worth listening to. <laughs> Most certainly. 
Um, but Jesus chose to appear to these two. And our reading shows us part of the reason why he did that. Clearly, he loved them dearly. But what we see about them is very different to, we heard about the guards, these tough Roman soldiers, these big men's men, <coughs> sent to make sure that nobody entered the tomb, took out the body and said, oh, Jesus has risen. When they saw the angel, they were scared of sin. Matthew said they fell down like dead men. They had no connection. They had no faith. They had no fight in them to stand up. They couldn't do anything. The angel came. And the angel came because heaven was open. Because through Jesus' death and his resurrection, heaven and earth, heaven is open to earth. And the angel comes to link the two and appears to the women. And the women are afraid. He has to say, don't be afraid. Well, they would be afraid because it was a scary sight. Clothes like lightning, was it, or something like that, coming down out of heaven, something that they would never have seen anything like it before. And the angel spoke to them and told them to go and tell the disciples the good news that Jesus is risen from the dead and he's going to meet them in Galilee. And Matthew tells us that what they did was that they got up straight away and they went. He said they were afraid but full of joy. You see how they obeyed the Lord's command. You see how they were walking in the way of the Lord. You see how they were able to overcome their fear because they were committed to Jesus his disciples to doing the will of God. And it's then on the way that Jesus wonderfully comes to them and meets them and their response is to clasp his feet, to fall down before him and to worship him. To worship him. And that today can be. Let's make that our response today. To walk in his way. To tell those we love about him. But to worship Jesus. To stand and stare. To take in that Jesus is alive. And we're going to, we're going to, to sing a, uh, a hymn in the moment which uh, uh, speaks about that wonderfully and powerfully. But I know myself that Jesus is alive because Jesus lives in me. In a way that I can't explain, but by his spirit, Jesus lives in me. And how I know it, I'm not quite sure sometimes, but I do know it because I'm aware that he speaks to me, that he walks and talks 
with me. That he gives me the strength sometimes to do what I need to do. He gives me the eyes to see. He gives me the mind to understand. He gives me the words to say. And he longs to do that for all of us. To give to us his life, eternal life. That we may love and enjoy God forever. And this Easter, let us worship our risen Savior, Jesus Christ, and hold him in our hearts and give him to those we know and love. Amen. So let us please um, stand, and uh, on page seven, we'll declare our faith together in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please say to O'Neill for prayer. And uh, in our prayers, when I say, Jesus, Lord of life, would you please respond, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. We pray, Father, for your church throughout the world, that we may be faithful witnesses of your resurrection. We pray for our bishops, Philip and Jill, archdeacons, David and Mark, all clergy and all people in our diocese, that we may be bearers of light and peace. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry. We lift before you people throughout the world who are suffering hunger because of changes to the climate. We pray for those in um, Somalia and Kenya and Uganda and Tanzania in East Africa, where there is drought. We 
We pray for people in our own lives who are unable to feed their families. Lord, would you help us and provide us with the will and the resources to be able to help where we can. We pray that you would nourish us all with your word. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the way. We pray this day for many uh, around our diocese and around the world who have been baptized or confirmed. We pray that you would strengthen our faith. Deepen our appreciation for your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. In a moment of quiet, let us remember before God those known to us who are sick, injured, troubled. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. We give you thanks for all those who have believed in you. Raise us with them to eternal life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. And so we uh, stand to sing or offertory hymn number 295, I serve a risen Saviour. <coughs>
Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the splendor, the majesty, and authority. All things in heaven and on earth are yours. All things come from you and of your own doing. Amen. The risen Lord came and met with his disciples and said, Peace be with you. The disciples were glad when they saw the risen Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We like to offer one another a sign of peace. In the books, we're on page one, uh, 30. <clears throat> the Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. On this Easter day, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once again, once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of eternal life. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Uh, halfway down the page, we say together, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> we praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, Send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine poured out may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, 
We remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favor on your people and gather us in in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast in at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit down. <coughs> And uh, on page 12, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Every, every time we eat this bread and drink of this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. At the top of page 15, we pray together. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same, Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. All are welcome to the Lord's table. There are um, some people who are unable to uh, take the chalice uh, for uh, special reasons. Uh, if you would like to come forward first uh, to receive um, the, uh, the, the, the bread which I will dip in the, in the wine, then uh, please do so now and uh, everybody else uh, will follow in due course. Um, yeah.
Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemies, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on page 16, um, let us say the prayer at the bottom of the page. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and open the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us. So we and all your children shall be free. And the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Our final hymn is a mystery to me, actually. <laughs> is number 406. <laughs>
Thank you so much for being with us. Um, as we close, a final prayer. If you can join us for tea and coffee and uh, whatever else there might be. <laughs> <coughs> Not promising Easter eggs, but <laughs> um, in, the, in the school hall, then please do. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this Easter time and forever. Amen. Now, at the bottom of page 17, we have a final greeting. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.